Hi everyone! Uh, my name is Noor and this is my first vlog. Vlog? Ah! <laughs> uh, my name is Noor and this is my first vlog. And I'm actually really excited for this because I've always been thinking about making a vlog before but I've not come around to doing it. And now, since I'm just stuck at home all the time, I thought, why not try something new? So, um, I just want to say that uh, most of my vlogs will be based around uh, digital marketing and its impact on the fashion industry because I'm just I've just really been passionate about fashion for a really long time and it's something that I've always been into and now that I'm studying digital marketing and just because we're in this whole COVID situation I thought what better way for digital marketing and fashion to in integrate than during this situation and um According to all the research that I've done and all the articles I've read and stuff, there's so much that brands are doing right now uh, to reach their customers and to engage with them. And I just felt like it would be really great for me if I could share it with you. And I really feel like it would be pretty interesting. And I feel like it's just something to think about and something great to look at. And I'm just gonna talk about a few ways that digital marketing has been used in fashion in um, recent times. So watch more to find out. Almost every 90s kid would remember watching Clueless and the most memorable scene would be this iconic scene where Cher gets to pick her own outfits using a style guide. And one of the ma many ways fashion brands can promote themselves today is with the use of style guides in digital marketing. This 2013 Dolce & Gabbana fall winter campaign is basically a style guide disguised as an advertisement. So numerous brands have designed style guides for their websites to make it more appealing and relevant to customers. Um, the purpose of this is for visitors and subscribers of the website to gain an idea of how to incorporate the sold apparel in their daily life. This would increase consumers' inclination to purchase the apparel and also increase the chances of purchasing more products than they intended to. Uh, I feel that brands integrating apparel and accessories with digital marketing can result in interesting and creative outcomes that would not only be visually appealing to current customers but would also attract potential customers as well. Not only this, but I also feel that it would um, in turn engage a large number of audiences um, as compared to non-digital or offline marketing as well. Um, so that concludes my take on digital marketing and fashion for today's video. And um, just click the like button and the subscribe button for more videos. And I hope you guys really like my video. And I'm going to work harder to make better vlogs because this is my first one. So I understand if I'm not the best. But I'm going to work hard on that. And um, yeah, I'll just come back for more videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.